Oxygen gas is a nonpolar molecule, while water is a polar molecule. As a result, not that much oxygen can dissolve in water. At 20 degrees Celsius, only 9 milligrams of oxygen can dissolve in a liter of water, and thus oxygen exists at 9 parts per million. The amount of oxygen dissolved in water is often a limiting factor for fish communities, as the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water drops, fewer and fewer fish can inhabit the water. Eutrophication literally means being, quote, well nourished. This is the addition of nutrients to water supplies when these nutrients were previously in short supply. This can take many forms. So for example, human sewage being dumped into water adds nutrients which were previously more scarce. Fertilizers coming from agricultural runoff contain nitrates and phosphates. Detergents coming from industrial waste or from households contains phosphates. Animal, animal manure uh, also then uh, contains nutrients which were previously in short supply. A cow can produce 14 pounds of manure a day and so thus areas uh, which have uh, herds of cattle can therefore be a significant source of manure. When these nutrients are added to water, they often encourage the growth of algae, bacteria, and water plants which undergo blooms or population bursts. There is nothing wrong with bacteria, algae, and water plants in bodies of water. However, as more and more nutrients are added to the water, the numbers of these bacteria, algae, and water plants uh, that can exist in the water increase. And since all of them can use oxygen, as the numbers of bacteria, algae, etc. increase, they are using more and more oxygen which otherwise would have been available for fish. Eutrophication can lead to fish kills because uh, the aerobic bacteria, uh, which decompose sewage or dead plant matter, use a great deal of this oxygen. As less oxygen is available for fish, species begin to disappear, and usually it is the commercially desirable fish species which disappear first. When the oxygen is gone, anaerobic bacteria can produce foul-smelling and even toxic compounds as they decompose the sewage.